Gordon was boasting to the others. Do you all remember when the Queen came to the island? He asked. I remember it like it was yesterday. The station was decorated, flags were waving, crowds were cheering. Yes, Gordon, remarked Edward. We know. We were all there too. And I looked as grand as ever, Gordon continued, pulling the royal train into the station. My brass shone like gold, and my paint was gleaming. Hmph, sniffed Henry. It should have been me pulling that train. I was the Fat Controller's first choice, after all. But you had to go and spill a paint pot all over yourself, laughed James. Henry groaned in anger. I wonder if the Queen will ever come back, said Thomas. She did seem to like our railway. I suppose the Fat Controller would have to invite her again, suggested Edward. But we'll just have to wait and see. The engines were soon off to work. Thomas was shunting trucks in the yard when a new rail to a train pulled into the station. Thomas stared at the visitor. He had blue and silver paint that seemed to gleam in the sunlight. Then Thomas noticed his tender. It had the royal coat of arms. Cinders and ashes, he cried. It must be a royal train. The Queen's come back. I must tell the others. And Thomas rushed out of the yard. The visitor stared. I wonder where he's off to, he said to himself. Thomas found Gordon up the line. Gordon, he shouted. The Queen's on the island. Silly, huffed Gordon. How could she? The Fat Controller would have towed us. But she is, Thomas pleaded. There's a rail to her at Knapford, and the engine has the royal coat of arms on his tender. Gordon was shocked. I can't believe it. The Fat Controller should have asked me to pull the royal train. Never mind that, Thomas huffed. We have to tell everyone and get the island ready. Right, said Gordon. The two engines set off to tell the others about the Queen's arrival. Meanwhile, the visiting engine, whose name was Hudson, waited in the yard and watched the engines race up and down the line. This railway seems busy today, he said to himself. <laughs> what could be happening? Percy then raced into the yard. Hey, you there, Hudson called out. Slow down a minute. Percy skidded to a halt. Hello, he panted. You're a rail to engine, right? That's right, I'm Hudson. And I'm Percy. I can't stay for too long. I have to make sure everything is ready. What for? asked Hudson. What's going on? Didn't you know? said Percy. The Queen is here. <laughs> Hudson was shocked. The Queen's here? he shouted. I didn't even know. I've got to get prepared to meet Her Majesty. And he puffed out of the yard. 